What's up YouTube, Agent Zero here, and today I'm going to be doing a comparison video between the M1903 Sniper and the Gewer 98 Sniper. Two primary rifles for the Scout class in Battlefield 1. First, we're going to take a look at four key statistics that I think are important to any sniper, and then I'm going to be giving my opinion on which sniper I prefer and why. First, let's take a look at the rate of fire. The rate of fire is 51 on the M1903 Sniper and 50 on the Gewer. So we're giving the edge to the 1903. The magazine size is even at 5 rounds in the clip. The sweet spot is 80 to 125 meters on the Gewer 98 and 100 to 150 meters on the M1903. Now, neither gets an edge just because it depends on your play style and how close you want to get when you're a sniper. If you don't know what the sweet spot is, it's where you're getting a kill from the chest up. You're always going to get a kill when you get a headshot. But the sweet spot gives you a little added bonus when you're in that certain range. The velocity is 880 meters per second on the Gewer 98 and 820 meters on the M1903. So the Gewer gets the edge on that one. For those of you who don't understand the velocity, the velocity is how fast the bullet is traveling. So with the Gewer, you have to lead your target a little bit less when your target's on the move versus the M1903 sniper where you have to lead them a little bit more in order to hit them. So overall it looks like we're tied at 1 to 1 where the M1903 has the rate of fire, the Gewer 98 has the velocity. The sweet spots even depending on the type of sniper you are could tip the scales in that favor though. So overall I'm gonna have to give my edge to the Gewer 98. The reason why I'm giving my edge to the Gewer 98 is because it's much easier to hit targets on the run. Because of that velocity, 880 meters per second. Anyone can hit a standstill target and get a headshot on a standstill target. It's much harder to hit a moving target and that faster velocity speed makes it easier to hit a moving target. On top of that, it seems that the 80 to 125 meter sweet spot is more geared for every map where the M1903 sniper, you need a little bit more of a wide open map in order for it to really shine. So overall, I definitely prefer the Gewer 98. So let me know what you think of these two sniper rifles in the comments section. Do you prefer the Gewer 98 like I do, or do you prefer the M1903? Let me know in the comments section. Are there other guns you want me to compare? If there are two guns that you're confused about, maybe you're torn between, let me know, leave a comment, and I will compare those two and tell you what I think. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you everyone who does. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Check me out on Facebook. The link is in the description. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, peace!